Now, your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you. Good morning. It is Wednesday, January 23rd. I'm Alicia Smith. Three suspected terrorists accused of planning to join forces with ISIS are now behind bars. The men were arrested right here in Michigan. According to the FBI's Joint Terrorism Task Force, the men are identified as 23-year-old Mohammed Muse, 26-year-old Mohammed Haji, and 20-year-old Muse Muse. All three are naturalized U.S. citizens born in Kenya. The men face up to 20 years in prison if convicted. Well, the man accused of shooting a police officer in the face and the arm is in custody at a hospital. A terrifying incident happened Tuesday morning in Saginaw Township. Joshua Rosebush was taken into custody about 11 hours after the shooting in Shiawassee County. We're told that at some point the 29 year old fired shots at a deputy during his arrest. That deputy returned fire. Rosebush was accused of shooting officer Jeff Koenig during a traffic stop Tuesday morning. Koenig is being treated at U of M Hospital in Ann Arbor. Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy is hosting the second of a series of town hall meetings tonight. This will be at the Detroit Edison Public School Academy from 7 until 9 this evening. Worthy will be touching on topics like how the prosecutor's office operates, as well as school threats and drug and mental health courts. Time for a look at your forecast with 7 First Alert Meteorologist Kevin Jeans. Hey Alicia, good morning. This afternoon we're going to have temperatures in the lower 40s. Highs around 43 degrees tonight, then dropping below freezing with lows back to the mid-20s. Get a chance of light rain continuing through about 5 or 6 p.m. and then we'll be drying out tonight. Tomorrow a high of 30 degrees and some light snow showers or flurries possible periodically Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Gets cold though Thursday night. Back to the single digits. Lows around minus 1 Friday night into Saturday morning. Thank you very much, Kevin. Well, today's Education Day at the North American International Auto Show. This event will run from 2.30 this afternoon till closing. Thousands of students from grade school through college will be getting a hands-on look at all the vehicles there and the technologies changing the face of today's automotive industry. Those are your headlines. Don't forget you can get news anytime at WXYZ.com and the 7 Action News mobile app. I'm Alicia Smith. Have a great Wednesday. These have been your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you.